Right, so I've got an issue with this um, HDO2 hairdryer. Um, I put it off eBay, not working. So I've checked all the usual uh, suspects of it, uh, i.e. the uh, diffuse and the plug. That was fine. Uh, I've checked the switch. That was fine. Checked everything. So the next thing was to take it apart and then uh, check things inside. So I've taken it apart and I've gone on to this contact here and this contact here, which is essentially where your thermal fuse is uh, uh, connected to. So I put the BP on there, BP on there. Nothing's working. So if one of the thermal fuses has gone, one or both uh, has gone. So I thought I'd just do a quick video showing you um, how to get to them and where they are. So at the start of the video, you see me taking the captain tape off. So you take that, to, uh, take the thermistor out. That's your thermistor. Take your ionizer out, that's your ionizer, that's connected all the way through here into there. So you take that off and then give it a little wiggle. Keep hold of that, obviously. And then take this out. I like to Mark this up. So just put a little mark on here. A little mark on. It can only go on one way, really. Take that out. There's your thermal fuses here and here. So, normally one of them goes. It's very rare that both of them go. Let me see. That's not working. That's alright. So that one's alright, but this one's gone. That's the reason why it wasn't working. So the thermal fuses, got plenty here. So I'm going to change both of them. I'm not going to mess about with one. I'm going to do both of them. So what I do there, I cut very close to there. Don't want too deep because you don't want to be cutting through your eating element here. And I do exactly the same on this one here. Oh, sorry. And then all that happens then is it comes out and it's clipped in there. So I'll put this to one side. So what I'll do then, I'll just get my new thermal fuse. Right next to it there. Got the same bend in it. Oh god, that's fine. That's your left one. Same with your right one. So that's your new set up there. So all I get now is my connectors.
And I don't think I've got the correct. Fittings in here. That's all I've got at the minute here. Right, so I've done this in the past, that's gone in there. And that's gone flush with this side. Just put that to one side for now. So put that in there. Put that one in there. Just a little bit of a fiddly job getting these in both right. Yeah, roughly. It's not the end of it because what I do is get that and find the right bits for this. So let's have a look. Yeah, we're not million miles away there, are we? Get rid of the old one now. Like I say, you're sacrificing one. And what I do with this, I put that pink in it up here. Might need a bigger kink in it than that. I keep knocking this camera stand. It's doing me head in. Right, let's have a look. Perfect. Little kink in this one. Perfect. So, as you can see, where are we? That's where I've cut the old one off from, there, that leg. So what I'm going to do now is bend that leg around here. Same with this one, bend that leg around this side. They will actually come out from that. Yeah. So that's this side. Same with this one as well, that comes out. Perfect. So with this one. Right, so what I'll do now with this one, 
because we're not far enough there. We can bend it, twist that to whatever shape we want. It's a lot of people say, oh, you can't do that. It's always worked for me, always. Get that. Get that. So. Put that on there. that on that So, put a bit of a solder on there. Same this side, just gives it that added protection. Makes it joint a little bit stronger. So I just soldered them on and they're working fine. Obviously you don't want to be lingering on the joint. That's a nice strong joint now. That. Right, that goes in there and it's away. That's perfect. Exactly the same. With this connection here. Five past five at the minute. Now we work at uh, two o'clock this afternoon till ten o'clock. And I've always been up doing faffing around in this but gives people an idea yeah that'll do just 
Well, I don't know exactly the same. This gets a little bit tricky now. Yeah, it means it. Sorry. Right. All I do here now is the two clips. Put the clips on here. So what I'll do, I'll whack a load of solder on there on this connection here, and then I'll just bring that into here. Now I don't like to do this over the heating element, because if any of this solder spills and it bridges that heating element, it's a nightmare. Nice, well done. Set that off for a minute. What I am going to do actually, I'm going to put one on there. Let me get a bit of that solder off of that. 